Welcome back to Living in the Word and today we are looking at the laws of purification. So let's begin. Numbers 19 verses 1 to 10. Now the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, This is the ordinance of the law which the Lord has commanded, saying, Speak to the children of Israel that they bring you a red heifer without blemish, in which there is no defect and on which a yoke has never come. You shall give it to Eleazar the priest, that he may take it outside the camp, and it shall be slaughtered before him. And Eleazar the priest shall take some of its blood with, it, with his finger, and sprinkle some of its blood seven times directly in front of the tabernacle of meeting. Then the heifer shall be burned in his sight, its hide, its flesh, its blood, its offal, uh, and its offal shall be burned. And the priest shall take cedar wood and hyssop and scarlet and cast them into the midst of the fire burning the heifer. Then the priest shall wash his clothes, he shall bathe in water, and afterward he shall come into the camp. The priest shall be unclean until evening. And the one who burns it shall wash his clothes in water, bathe in water, and shall be unclean until evening. Then a man who is clean shall gather up the ashes of the heifer and store them outside the camp in a clean place, and they shall be kept for the congregation of the children of Israel for the water of purification. It is for purifying from sin. And the one who gathers the ashes of the heifer shall wash his clothes and be unclean until evening. It shall be a statute forever to the children of Israel and to the stranger who dwells among them. So the purification process involved uh, the killing and burning of a red heifer. And of course, this heifer had to be without blemish and had to be, uh, it says, without a yoke, which means basically unworked. Um, now, the ashes were then mixed with, um, with water for the purification process. Numbers 19, verses 11 to 22. He who touches the dead body of anyone shall be unclean seven days. He shall purify himself with the water on the third day and on the seventh day. Then he will be clean. But if he does not purify himself on the third day and on the seventh day, he will not be clean. Whoever touches the body of anyone who has died and does not purify himself defiles the tabernacle of the Lord. That person shall be cut off from Israel. He shall be unclean, because the water of purification was not sprinkled on him. His uncleanness is still on him. This is the law when a man dies in a tent. All who come into the tent and all who are in the tent shall be unclean seven days. And every open vessel which has no cover fastened on it is unclean. Whoever in the open field touches one who is slain by a sword or or who has died, or a bone of a man or a grave shall be unclean seven days. And for an unclean person, they shall take some of the ashes of the heifer burnt for purification from sin, and running water shall be put on them in a vessel. A clean person shall take hyssop and dip it in the water and sprinkle it on the tent, on all the vessels, on the persons who were there, or on the one who touches a bone, the slain, the dead, or a grave. The clean person shall sprinkle the unclean on the third day and on the seventh day, and on the seventh day he shall purify himself, wash his clothes, and bathe in water, and at evening he shall be clean. But the man who is unclean and does not purify himself, that person shall be cut off from among the assembly because he has defiled the sanctuary of the Lord. The water of purification has not been sprinkled on him. He is unclean. It shall be a perpetual statute for them. He who sprinkles the water of purification shall wash his clothes, and he who touches the water of purification shall be unclean until evening. Whatever the unclean person touches shall be unclean, and the person who touches it shall be unclean until evening. So anyone who, who touched a human uh, corpse would be unclean for seven days. Now, to become clean, they would purify themselves with the water 
on the third day and the seventh day. Now, this wasn't just, this isn't about sins. This is about keeping uh, disease um, out of the camp of the Israelites. Well, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and God bless.